Ernest Tubb talking to you from Nashville, Tennessee, the home of the Grand Ole Opry, the greatest country music show in the world. You'll enjoy Grand Ole Opry stars like Carl Smith, Webb Pierce, Little Jimmy Dickens, Rod Brasfield, Cousin Minnie Pearl, and yours truly, Ernest Tubb, and a host of others. And now here's Little Jimmy Dickens. <laughs> Simple guy, there's one thing sure is shooting. I hate those folks who think that they're so dead burn high for good. I'd be the same in Hollywood or right in my own kitchen. I believe in fussing when you're mad and scratching when you're itching. I'm a plain old I raise cane on Saturday, but I go to church on Sunday. I'm a plain I'll be looking over my old gray mule when the sun comes up on Monday. How about a little kiss on me? But I had to shut my mouth So I was a geezer down the north end Of a chicken flying south I'm a plain old country boy A cornbread loving country boy I raise cane on Saturday But I go to church on Sunday I'm a plain old country boy A tater eating country boy I be looking over that old gray mule When the sun comes up on Monday <laughs> Thank you very kindly, and once again, allow us to say, as we always do, a great big special hello and howdy to all you good folks and friends and neighbors, and welcome to another of our Grand Ole Opry shows and our little country get-togethers. We've got a big time planned for you, lots of good country artists that we do want you to meet, and we're sure that they're favorites of yours, but right now, let's listen to this. Thank you kindly, good neighbor, for the fine words. And now, friends, we carry on with the unpredictable young fellas that we always bring on our Grand Ole Opry shows. Lonzo and Oscar, how about that? Everybody is really feeling good tonight. Is that right, Oscar? I'm really feeling good tonight, Lonzo. Oh, fine. Boy, I got a riddle for you, Lonzo. Oh, another riddle, huh? Yeah. Now, what have you got this time, Oscar? What? Paul Revere say at the end of his last ride? I don't remember, Oscar. What did he say? Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> oh! Boy, you know what? I bought me an airplane last week. Did you sure enough? Boy, I'm, I'm, glad. I'm glad. I love to fly. I do, too. Yeah, I couldn't drive it, so I got told the cousin Jody to pilot it for me. Well, good. I didn't know he was we a pilot. Was... Yeah, he is my <laughs> pilot. <laughs> <too, didn't he? laughs> we was up in there, you know, sailing around. Cousin Jody was acting smart up there, and he turned that airplane upside down and fell out. Hey, wait a minute, Oscar. That's, that's bad. No, Lonzo, that was good because he had a parachute on. Oh, well, good. <laughs> no, no, that's bad. The parachute didn't open. No, didn't oh, wait a minute now. That is bad. No, that was good because there was a haystack down on the ground. Oh, well, good. Uh, no, that's bad. There was a pitchfork in the haystack. Hey, now that is bad, Oscar. Uh, no, that's good. He missed the pitchfork. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's good. No, that's bad. He missed the haystack. Oh. <laughs> I'll bet you're wondering how I got out of that airplane, ain't you? Yeah, how did you get out of it? That's, that's why I look like this. Little <laughs> 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 Tune called going down the road to feeling bad, but we don't mean it, do we? Going down this road feeling bad. I'm going down this road 
the road of feeling bad, but you left us all feeling good. We go along with our country entertainment, our Grand Ole Opry show for this time, by bringing to you a young fellow that I've appeared with many, many times across the nation, in some of our biggest cities and biggest auditoriums, and he always pleases everybody with his wonderful country songs. I know that you'll enjoy him today, our well-dressed gent from the West Cowboy, Copas. Hey! Thank you, Jimmy. Thank you very much. We'd like to do a little song for the friends today. Fellas, if you're all ready, let's go. A weary heart for you is crying. It knows it's paid for it. Oh, you have to be so lonely. I've got no gold left me blue. You know that we should be together. by our good friend Cowboy Copas and the band. And right now, friends, I have a rural route cousin that I'd like for you to meet. She's got more kin people than anybody I know. The gossip of Grinder Switch, Cousin Minnie Pearl. Here we go. Yeah. Yeah. Howdy! Howdy! Well, Howdy! I'm just as proud to be here. And we're <laughs> Today and so proud. Is that so? I, I have a surprise for you. Oh, well, that'll be nice. I brought my sister with me, uh -huh. and I want you to meet her. Sister, come well, on Well, where's sister? Come, come on, on, sister. Bring sister in, but I was a little afraid too. 
You know how it is with a young, innocent girl and so many fellers, you know. <laughs> yes, I just afraid that somebody would run off with her. Yes, that's possible. Yes, uh, Jim, uh, I don't want to brag or anything, but don't you think it runs in the family? <laughs> yeah, I think it does, but what is it? That's well, what I <laughs> Jim, I was just going to ask you if you wanted to have a date with Sister. It uh, happens she's not doing anything right after the show. Me have a date uh, with Sister? Yeah, uh, would you like to? Well, I she's, mean, she, she's lovely, you know, like that, Minnie, but I think I'm pretty well booked up. Oh, oh yeah, are you, you really? I really think so. Well, <laughs> it's just as well, because what would you do, Sister? Listen, what would you do if you want to run up on one of these fast fellas around here that would just kiss you at the drop of a hat? What would you do? Oh, sister! <laughs> <laughs> sister just like we rehearsed at home now sing it right we're going to sing the song we rehearsed at home <laughs> come and sit by my side if you darling do not hasten to bid me adieu but remember the red river valley and the girl who has loved you so true blue no one but you if you want oh, some love like that. Sister, I'm ashamed of you. You know you never heard anything like that at Grinder Switch. Aren't you ashamed of yourself? Oh, baby, don't let me know. I'm sure you enjoyed the visit. You bet your life, cousin Minnie Pearl and her sister. And now, friends, let's all get together, every one of us, and join the Grand Ole Opry Square Dancers and have an old time hoedown. Start the music. Yeah. Boys. Hey. really get in there and have themselves a time and we hope that you folks at home join us along there too i'd like to do a little song along about here with your kind permission friends if i may get my country boys band to kind of kick me off on a little tune called bessie the heifer boy <laughs> Yeah. 
it fast to rise. At night she gave her margin eyes. Bessie's heifer, the queen of all the cows. Thank you, neighbors. Thank you very much. Thank you very kindly. We'll be back in just a moment. But right now, let's listen to this. And on with our Grand Ole Opry for today, we'd like to bring to you a lovely young lady who always has a lovely song for us. Go to Hill, all right. Hey. Hey. I love you so, don't ever go, please don't betray me. The vows we made to never part, those words I spoke came from my heart. All through life, stick and thin, I'll be with you till the end. Please don't betray me, cause I can't live without you. I love you so, don't ever go, please don't betray me. Leave Goldie Hill alone, our lovely young lady of the Grand Ole Opry, Miss Goldie Hill, with a wonderful song. And right now, going from the, well, a very lovely young lady down to the most ridiculous thing that I could bring on. <laughs> I know that you'll enjoy his visit, though. The teller of tall tales and the mayor of Hohenwall, Tennessee, Rod Fatfield. <laughs> I'm glad to see you, Rod. Right? Hey, Terry Booger. Yeah. Hey, I run into a friend of mine over there just now, Cowboy Copeland. Oh, yeah, old Cope's friend of everybody. And, and me and him's got the quartet all fixed up. Do you mind if we sing a song? Well, uh, Rod, I'd love to hear you. Hey, Copeland! Yeah, Rod! Oh, hi. Hey, hi, Rod. Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. you bring out the bunch, we? Yeah, oh, I got all of them. Uh, Tater oh, Eaton Oh, there they are. The original. <laughs> Good to see you, Mr. Potter. We'll bury you one of these days. You got, <laughs> you got the song books? Yeah, let's, uh, mm -hmm. let's, let's all let's have a book. Let's have a book, book boys. Yeah. Have, have a book. Have, 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 have a have a song book. All right. We'll, we'll yeah. sing Josephus and Bo Hunker. Josephus and Bo Hunker. Right. All right, we that's on that. page 22, men. 22? Right. I ain't got no page 22. Be all right if I sing on page 11 twice? <laughs> I guess so, come to think of it, the words ain't in my book either, so well, I'll just you... sing out of his. Oh, Here we go. Well, this is number one, verse number one. <laughs> there was a farmer had two sons, and these two sons were brothers. Josephus was the name of one, Bo Hunkus was the other. Sing, brother, sing. <laughs> there was a farmer had two sons, and these two sons were brothers. Dude, you're singing too much. Oh, you got some hair coming out there. <laughs> Verse number three. Now these two boys are dead and gone. Long may their ashes rest. Josephus of the colliery died. Bohunkus by request. Sing, brother, sing. Now these two boys are dead and gone. Long may their ashes rest. Of 
the people. <laughs> too much. Right You're singing entirely too much. Looks too big. <laughs> <laughs> Now these two boys, their story told, and they did tell it well. Josephus up to heaven went, and Bo Hunkus went to sing, brother sing. <laughs> now these two boys, their story told, and they Yo did tell it well. Josephus <laughs> up to heaven went, Bo Hunkus went to Hornwall. there and they done a grand job i never heard such pretty harmony i don't think <laughs> we got a young fella here at our grand old opry that's well liked across the nation ray price and the cherokee cowboy <laughs> And we know that you enjoyed it. Right now, friends, we'd like to have you listen to a word of importance from the people who make these little visits possible. I want to thank all the wonderful people who have appeared on our show this time, friends. We've enjoyed trying to bring it to you and present as much variety as we knew how and please as many of you folks as we possibly could with our simple country music. We hope that you'll join us again. We always say the most wonderful people in television are the ones that do the looking. That's you. Thanks for being with us. We're going to have to run. I'd like to get everybody to join us for our little theme for today. If you will, boys, please. All right. <laughs> 